Number 16, the position function x of a particle moving along an x-axis is x equal to 4 minus 60 squared with x in meters and t in seconds. Letter A, at what time? And letter B, where does the particle momentarily stop? At what negative time and positive time does the particle pass through the origin? Letter E, graph x versus t for the range minus 5 seconds to plus 5 seconds. Letter F, to shift the curve rightward on the graph, should we include the term plus 20t or the term minus 20t in x? Letter G, does the incursion increase or decrease the value of x at which the particle momentarily stops? So we have the function of the position of the particle, which is equal to 4 minus 60 squared. Squared. And in letter A, we want to know where the particle stops. So we have to find the function of the speed of the particle. And we can find that function taking the derivative of the position in function of time. So we are, we are going to take the derivative of 4 minus 60 squared in function of time. And this is equal to minus 12t. So this is the function of the speed of the particle, minus 12t. And in letter A, we want to know when the particle stops, and letter B, where the particle stops. So we want that the speed of the particle should be 0. So minus 12t is equal to 0. So we find that the particle stops when the clock shows us zero seconds. So this is the answer of letter A. For letter B, we know that the particle stops when t is equal to zero, so we have to find the position when t is equal to zero. So we want to find x of zero, which is equal to 4 minus 6 times 0 squared, which is equal to 4 meters. Don't forget to include the unit because it says over here that x is in meters and t in seconds. So that's the answer of letter B. Letter C, at what negative time and positive time does the particle pass through the origin? Okay, the, the particle passes through the origin when x is equal to 0. So we have that 0 is equal to 4 minus 60 squared. So we want to find the time where the part when the particle uh, pass through the origin so the particle the, the origin is x equal to 0 and we have to find the value of t over here so we have to find the solution of this equation over here so sending this term to the other side 60 squared is equal to 4 so t is equal to the square root of 4 over 6 and this gives us plus minus let's see 0 0.82 seconds so the answer of letter C is the negative time so the, the answer of letter C is just minus 0 0.82 seconds and the answer of letter D is the positive time so plus 0.82 seconds. So those are the answers of letter C and letter D. Letter E, graph X versus T for the range minus 5 seconds to plus 5 seconds. So let us draw our coordinate system over here. Okay, so this is T in seconds, this is X in meters and let us draw some points that we already know so we know that when the clock shows us minus 0 0.82 let's say it's this point over here minus 0 0.82 the value of x is 0 so it is this point over here and for the time plus 0 0.82 82, the position of the particle is 0 as well. And we know that when the clock shows us 0 seconds, the position is 4 meters. So let's say this is 4 meters. Okay. So we know that this is a second degree function. 
so we know that it is a parabola so it should be something like this so this is the sketch of the function so that's the answer of letter e if you want you you could draw for the range that it, it says over here minus 5 to plus 5 but it would be something like this okay so you just have to draw it a little bit more if you want and this should cross exactly this point over here letter f to shift the curve rightward on the graph should we include the term plus 20t or the term minus 20t in x of t so let's test it i'm going to check this position of this the maximum point of the curve over here i'm going to see if the curve goes to the right or it goes to the left so let's say that our function now is equal to 4 minus 60 squared plus 20t and let's see if this point moves rightward that that's what we want or leftward so we just have to test for plus 20t or minus 20t and we see if if we get the correct answer if not it's the other term that we have to include okay so remember how we found this point over here we just took the derivative and then replaced the time in the function so we have to take the derivative of the function in function of time and the derivative of this function is equal to minus 12t plus 20 right so we want that this is it should be equal to 0 so 0 is equal to minus 12t plus 20 so 12t is equal to 20 and t is equal to 20 over 12 and this gives us I'm not sure let's divide it by 4 so it's 5 over 3 seconds anyway you could see that this value is positive so the position of this point moved to the to the right so that's the correct answer the term is the, this term over here plus 20t okay, so that's the answer of letter F letter G does the inclusion increase or decrease the value of x at which the particle momentarily stops so what we have to do here is the same thing that we have the sorry no. yes oh, that, that's it we have to do exactly the same thing that we have done for letter b so we have to find x of 5 over 3 and this would be 4 minus 6 times 5 over 3 is squared plus 20 times 5 over 3 and this should be greater or or lesser than 4 meters that's all we have to to see if this is if this term over here is greater or not than this term over here so the answer would be more than 4 or less than 4 so this is 4 minus 6 times 25 over 9 plus 100 100 over 3 so this is equal to 4 minus 150 over 9 plus 300 over 9 so this is 4 plus 150 over 9 and of course this value is greater than 4 so the answer is uh, the, the, inclu the, the inclusion increase the value of x so that's the answer it is it increases the value of x and that's it